I've got, let's see, what I called something special. So in one I have this, and one signature I have, let's see, what did I put in this one? Maybe nothing. Okay, this doesn't have anything in it. So I, I was thinking I could put the envelope in one as a special thing. It will be a good spot. I mean, this is kind of plain, so I could put it here. And so I'm trying, I'm, I'm debating about how to attach it. I could put a cord and wrap around it. Maybe I just want to put a belly band and tuck it around. So I have these tickets, and what I'm thinking is, instead of folding them up and putting them in as just ephemera, what I think I might do is uh, use this as a belly band. And so just glue, I'm gonna cut that ticket off and glue it, and then that will be a belly band, and then this can tuck into that. So I think that's what I will do. So put this ticket in a pocket somewhere by itself. And then glue this. And then this envelope can tuck in behind it. Like that. And I'm going to leave it out because it's not dry yet. Hopefully I remember, I guess I'll, I think I better do that so I remember what I had intention there. Okay, so we're, the other thing, let's see, we have these tags that we did earlier and I need to punch holes and get them gussied up. Okay, so I'm digging through all the ephemera and I'm finding this Blessing of Abraham card that I did and I think I was intending for that to go into the Blessing folio also. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink it and put that in there. I think I'll put a little ribbon at the top, punch a little hole and dress it up just a little bit. Let's use my small hole punch I've got. Use my hug and snug ribbon. Okay, that looks like what it will go with that. So I've kind of got this chartreuse thing going on. <laughs> so this I can put behind in this pocket. So I'm just gonna cut a little piece of this to put at the top. Okay, so that just adds a little bit of color and flair to it. Put that behind the belly band. And then this can go over the top. And I think I'm done. <laughs> this time, really, for real, I think I'm done. <laughs> okay. All right, so. I also found this little tuck-in thing that I did on the kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my X-Acto knife and cut that. I don't think I did yet, nope. And actually I need to score it too, because I don't wanna misfold it. This is kind of a delicate piece of paper here. So, take the back of my exact knife, fold it, and you can fold it both ways actually. I mean, it could go this way, or it can go this way. So I'm gonna fold it this way, I think. Use my bone folder to make it lay right. And I'm going to ink it. Okay. 
And I think because this paint, this was when I did the paint, the uh, jelly plate print, the paint just kind of stopped. And so you've got this weird little place where it's just blank. And so I think I might take my distress ink in olive and do some kind of pattern on it to just make that blend in and go away. Actually, the moss probably. Well, the olive, I don't know. Olive would look good too. Maybe the olive, okay. <laughs> the olive will be a little less dramatic. And pull out just a random stencil here. Well, it's not really random if I'm being picky, is it? Okay. All right, and I'm just going to kind of do a, not hit the whole thing, just pieces to help it blend. There, like that. And then where it opens up, you can write on it. And I don't have anything in mind right at the moment, so I'm just going to leave it and tuck that in and put it away for later. It looks like a letter, but what it is is the blessing. It's blessed will you be in the city and blessed will you be in the country. Blessed will be the children of your womb, the pro produce of your ground and the offspring of your animals, the newborn of your herd and the young of your flock. Blessed will be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed will you be <clears throat> when you come in and blessed will you be when you go out. The Lord will command the blessing for you in your barns and in everything that you put your hand to. And he will bless you in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. So this is another part of the blessing of Abraham that we're entitled to. So this I am going to fold and put in that envelope. So I think if I fold it in half, yeah, it'll fit. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in there now. So I don't forget. Okay, so there's that. We're slowly but surely getting the, getting the pieces and put pieces of the kit put in here. And I really like that moss ink, and so I'm going to get that back out because I think I want to do some stenciling with that. I've got a lot of that color, that chartreuse kind of color, in here. And so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of go through the signatures and just kind of add some of that to it. If this journaling page is just kind of plain, which is fine, but I'm going to just hopefully not interfere if somebody's going to write over it. And just kind of add a little touch of design. I've got that chartreuse from that stencil paste that's about the same color. So I think these, I'll leave those alone. I think that might be it. Oh, that is a different signature. I was going to say that might be it for that signature, but maybe let me see. This might be a good place up under this flap. And even down here, Fill in that space. This has got green there, but it doesn't have green anywhere else. I think this might be a good opportunity to help it make sense by adding just a little bit more green to it. 
so that that ties in with the green there. Might do that up here too, just a little bit. It's good to do something in thirds and threes. So if you hit it once, you might as well hit it three times, right? Okay, I think that one's good. This one's got quite a bit in it. Yeah. Just a little bit something different. Okay. Yeah, this might need. I don't know if it'll show up on this or if it's necessary. It's kind of busy, but let me see. <laughs> I mean, maybe, I don't know. I don't even know if you noticed that, but this one needs a little bit of On the other side of that page, same kind of deal. Okay, this has some in that painting. It might be kind of cute to add just a touch of it here and there. I don't know if it'll show up on here or not. Let me see. Not really. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm good with that. And now I'm gonna look through I'm gonna look through some of these pieces. This is oh, one of the journaling cards it says press down and running over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit. Hit that three times. <laughs> Make the back a little prettier. See, time and harvest is pretty. I like it as a sort of structured pattern over some of that uh, jelly plate printing that's just so abstract and organic. This helps. Oh, yeah. Helps fill in that spot where the paint didn't quite reach. <laughs> yeah. I really like how that mica spray did on these cards. That was fun to do too, so have to play with that some more. My sister gave me a couple of tips next time I do it too, so I'll try that out again. Okay, so that's kind of touched that up. So I think that, I think what I'm going to do now is actually glue in some pockets because um, I'm kind of overwhelmed with pieces and parts right now. So I think that would probably be a good idea. Okay, so I've got these pulled out. Now I found this, this is another set of the stack pockets. And so this is sort of a special item too that could take up a page. And so, you know, I said I've got them divided up so each signature hopefully gets something special. This one doesn't look like it got anything yet. 
So I'm gonna find a place to put these three pockets that I don't mind covering up. And honestly, I think I've got two from this. I think I'm gonna put it on this one. So the way, of course, it stacks is like, oops. This goes on the bottom, this goes on the top. Okay. So like that. And you can, you know, adjust them as you want to, up and down to make them further or closer together, however you want to do it. So you start with your back one. That I guess I did. And some people choose not to glue the bottom of this because that leaves, if you want to put something really long, almost the length of the page, you could go ahead and do that. I'm going to live dangerously and not do that. I'm going to go ahead and glue this in all the way around. And then this one. And they do the same thing. They just glue these sides and then it leaves it to where you can put tall things in. But I'm not gonna do that. And then this one. And I'm just gonna line that one up at the bottom and I still get that to show at the top so I'm happy <laughs> and that is that okay so those all kind of have something special so here's our just sort of run-of-the-mill everyday pockets <laughs> okay so if I have five signatures I'm just gonna start splitting them up Let's see, this is kind of weird. I'm just, I'll do like this. And of course, you can put them all in the same one. You don't have to do this. It's just me being silly, I guess. Okay, so then I'm going to put, I think those two go together. I'm going to put those in one, put that in one. These two go together, so I'm going to put those there. Actually, is that the... No, these two go together. Yeah. That one. Oh, this guy didn't get... I forgot that guy. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't matter. Maybe I'll do this. I won't feel bad for that one. Okay. All right. That didn't get ink, that's why I keep messing with it and flipping it over and over. Just start looking for places that need a pocket or could use a pocket, which of course any of these kind of present themselves. Let's see what looks the best. The colors of this don't really lend itself to the oranges. This is pinks and kind of aquas. So that's why I'm kind of hesitating about this. And I could do that. I think I'll do that. That blue is kind of unusual too. So. Yeah. I like to glue the pockets onto the sides where I don't have printing. I think it adds a little bit of structure, structure as far as design because, you know, it's got this printed design. I don't like to necessarily have a printed design on top of a printed design. I mean, sometimes I do, but I, I just like them for the backs a lot. This needs some help, so I think 
Oh, you know, I was thinking these stacked, but I don't think, I think they're actually two different ones. So I think, I think I'll go ahead and put this here. I think I'm gonna glue corner pocket to this brown paper. Seems like it kind of needed something. Look at this. Okay, the colors of this feel like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this pocket onto this page. I'm gonna glue it pretty far down because I wanna show as much of that design as I can of this texture. This page needs something to cover the velvet, at least one part of the velvet if I can, so I'm gonna use this. those like that. That way I still get this some of this color and it kind of goes with it. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and glue one here. I like my pages so much, I kinda don't wanna mess with them. <laughs> this one, get that there. I'm trying to not cover that up. I don't want to cover that up either, so I'm like, oh, I don't want to put a pocket there. <laughs> it's like, come on now. This is a journal. Got to have pockets to put your stuff in. I'm going to go ahead and put that there, I think. And let's see, try to avoid putting putting it where the fabric is, but I could just move it over. So if I could get that to tuck under the fabric, maybe I'll do that. All right, so that leaves one pocket. Go back here to the very first one, see if I can with the page. I'm just going to put it on this music page. Okay, so that uses up the pockets that came with the kit. So of course we're going to want to add more than that, but we'll do that a little bit later. So I'm going to stop and I will uh, go on to the next thing on the next video. And so if you liked it, I hope you click like and think about subscribing. And by the way, thank you for watching and um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.